guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a super smelter that will smelt things insanely quick. So yeah guys, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. And yeah, let's get on to the video. So this is an insane smelter. What it's going to do is it's going to smelt a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of items very fast. So pretty much how it works is depending on how long you have it, that's going to be how fast um, it smelts. So, if you have 15 furnaces wide, then you're going to have 15 uh, items smelted at a time. So I have uh, 15 furnaces here, and yes, 15 furnaces makes it so I smelt 15 at a time. Because when all of these are full, full, that's not a word, full, you flick the lever, and then it will go back and forth, and, um, yeah, it will evenly spread. When I said fold wasn't a word, I just realized it, was, it is a word, but not in the way I meant. But as you can see, it smelts insanely fast. As soon as I put it in, it's already 15. It's going to go 15 at a time, because it's 15 wide. If you make it 64 wide... 64 at a time, which is pretty insane. So, yeah, this is going to be a very high cost iron and wood because you need about what that's one, two, three, four hoppers for each row, and that's 20 iron. And uh, sorry, maths in my head. I'm terrible at math. 32 pieces of wood. So, 32 pieces of wood and 20 iron per row. So, yep. Now you have to just do 20 times 64. <laughs> and you'll find out how much iron you need. Which is depressing. It's terrible. No. I'm sorry, guys. But, you know, it's, it's terrible. But whatever. <sighs> but, these back rows that you see here, you will not need them. I mean, you will need them, but pretty much all the back rows are for is for coal. So, if you want to save a lot of iron, take out the back row. That will take out, what, about half of the furnaces, and it will just be ten times better. Not ten times better, it'd just be ten times less material. So, yeah, do that if you want. But, yeah, you'll have to put the coal in manually, though, which sucks. But, I mean, if you want to see, what is that? There's three or two, so two per row, ten iron per row. You can do that. So, pretty much how it works is because it's a minecart with hopper when you put items in it goes all the way back and forth and evenly spreads out all of the well whatever block you're smelting then it goes into the furnace and then you have what if it goes back and forth three times you have three in each one and it smells very fast so the reason this is such a good thing is because if you've ever seen someone or even yourself done it if you sh if you're like trying to do smell something very fast, let's just say you have you're about to die because you're starving to death in Minecraft, you'll probably I don't know some people do this. They'll place three furnaces and spread out their food in three different, and it will be three times faster. Let's start building now. So I build up five, and I just realized I want this to be level with the other one because yep, yeah, then I'll have to build everything one higher and it'll be slightly irritating. So you just want to break that top row that I built and place a temporary block over there. So you want to build three high, then place a one on top, then crouch and place two hoppers there. Then later we'll break that block. Then you just want to go on top of that and place that chest. And I just need to go back and forth a couple times because I have terrible memory. But then you just want to place three blocks over underneath that temporary block place that 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 then you can pretty much this is where all of your hoppers are gonna go once you place these hoppers 
um, you pretty much have this, you have it started. So you want to place that block there behind that rail, and this is the row. So wherever you want to end it, you're just going to want to build these blocks up. So I just placed four blocks as temporary because I'm not sure. Okay, it's three high. So then you want to crouch and place all of these right here. So once I do that, I'll show you what we need to do next. And yep, just need one more. Then we need to place rails on top of those. Then at the end, we'll place a powered rail. And yeah, then I'll show you what to do. So then you want to place one block over the powered rail, place a redstone torch underneath it, make sure there's a block underneath it. Why would I tell you that? It's impossible to place a torch on air. Well, pretty much what you want to do next is... Then you want to go underneath these hoppers and place a temporary block, place a furnace on the bottom, place a furnace on top, I mean, hopper on top. Then you want to place all these furnaces over. Then... After you've done that, you just want to place all the hoppers on top. So you just want to make sure you're crouching when you do that. Because, yeah. Before we place all the other hoppers, just build that one over. And because I just realized that torch interferes with the hopper. It makes it very annoying. So then you just want to go another block over. I don't know why I broke that block. <laughs> uh, why did I do that? Just replace that, and as you can see, it's now going in the furnace, unlike it was a second ago. So, now that we have that done, I will show you what to do next. Then you want to crouch and place all these hoppers. Then I'll tell you, next step. Out of the 16 million steps, this is our 17th. Actually, I don't really know. But there's a lot of steps. So then you want to crouch and place these hoppers right on these furnaces but remember guys if you don't if you want to if you want to save the, all that iron we were talking about don't place those furnaces because these furnaces that i'm placing right here are for the coal so if you want to place the coal in manually and you're fine with that do not place the these what i'm placing right now so you just want to place another row on top of the bottom row then i'll show you what to do next then you want to place a one straight down, and then you want to place hoppers leading into that one. And because of how this works, um, how hoppers work, uh, you want to do it that way. So then crouch place while holding A and crouching in, if you're in creative mode. You just want to place those. I always, I always didn't know how you were supposed to do that. But then I found out that's what you were supposed to do because i was like if you're in f how do you crouch where you're flying so i was like you probably need to balance it out by holding a and also crouching at the same time so you're pretty much flying and going down at the same time so you don't move but you want to break these because i realized yeah that that's wrong but you want the power rail right beside the um hopper and you want to place a block underneath then a repeater on top of it facing into the block that's connected to the power rail then you want to go one more over and you want to crouch and place these oops you don't want that there that's wrong I'll just go back then you want to place we're going to restart from that bit but you want to get in the right position crouch one then you want to go all the way over to where the repeater is at place another one on top another one beside it and then fill in all of these blocks. Make sure you get between. Then you can place another block. And place it beside the quartz. Now that you've done that, you have the entire system for pretty much... You pretty much have the main system done. So now you want to grab a minecart with hopper. Place it right on top of the powered rail. Then you want to go underneath here. Break all of these grass blocks. Because this is where all your furnaces are going to go. And yeah, right after I break that, which I just did, I'll tell you what we need to do next. So now you want to break the blocks underneath the furnaces. Because those, those are 
where the hoppers are going to go. Like I said before, I don't know why I'm repeating myself. So then you want to go another layer deep. Then you want to go over one again. So where it should end is where the hoppers are behind. Or if you want to save iron, iron you're not going to have those there. So then you want to break a bunch of blocks here because... Um, yeah, that's where hoppers and chests are going to go. So we're going to place these two chests right beside that pig. And at the end of the hoppers, right at this bit. Then you want to place all of the hoppers facing towards those front two. And make sure they're all facing that way and not down. Because if they're facing down, it will break everything. Just to let you know. Now... You have pretty much everything you need. Now you just need to fill in all these blocks. And yeah. So you just want to place blocks around the chest. So you don't see dirt. And yes. Uh, then you want to make your floor. But you're probably not making your floor. Because you already have one. Probably. Most likely. Then you want to go up. All the way up. Place all of these blocks. Place the blocks on top of those. And yeah. After I finish this. I will, um, tell you what to do next. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to place item frames on these. So you want to place the coal on the left side and whatever block you want to smelt on the right. Then you want to grab your stairs, uh, literally whatever type you want. Place them on the opposite way so they look like normal blocks. And you want to go all the way around. Now you don't have to, but when you're in a room and it's kind of dark, you can tell the difference that from a stair and a block so if you just do the entire top row it looks like you that was an intentional design so next thing we're gonna do is go to the back here drop down here and fill all of these with coal so yeah once i've done that uh i'll tell you what to do next so just fill them all up or you could put them at the top if you're lazy and then i'll show you what to do next So I'm back, and I just filled up all of them. And, uh, yeah, pretty much you're done with the majority of it. And I'll activate it and show you that this one works as well, just in case you're not too sure. Or you can test it out yourself. And, yeah, guys, this is pretty awesome. Grab whatever you want to smelt, place it in there, then grab your... Wait, why am I saying? I was going to say coal, and then I realized you don't need that. But if you guys want this specifically for food, or, I don't know, ores only, you just can pr pretty much replace them with blast furnaces or smokers. So if you have, like, what's it called? Maybe a food farm, then you can attach this to the super smelter, and you can AFK for a bit come back and have stacks of cooked meat so as you can see when we flip that lever it will go back and forth and evenly spread all of these blocks out and smelt the fast way so yeah that's pretty cool as you can see they're going up pretty fast and this should only go up to nine because i only made it nine long or how much ever it was but this one's 15 so yeah if you just want it longer you just pretty much do that and it's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And, yeah. It's pretty simple to do. If you want me to do any other tutorials, comment down below. And, yeah, guys. Whatever you think is good for that, I will do. So, yeah, guys. I was... I didn't do much... Before I leave, I'm just gonna talk about my YouTube channel a bit. So, yeah. I thought I was gonna quit YouTube. I didn't, but yeah, here I am making videos now. Last video, I think, was about a year ago, my last video that I put out. But I'm here, going to do a bunch of more videos, got a bunch of good ideas 
to share with you guys and a bunch of tutorials, maybe survival let's play. Hmm. Wonder if you guys will like that. But yeah, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, let's see if we can get to 100 subscribers before, let's set a date, before, I don't know, the end of this year. That's, that's pretty good. It's, what, five, six, seven months. So yeah. Sorry guys, this was not the end of the video. Okay, I realized after I finished recording that I messed up on something very badly. Um, once you turn this lever off, some of the items will actually, even when the lever's on, most of the items are going to go to the first one and it will smell really bad. But pretty much what you want to do is place everything one block over, just this bit. You don't have to move everything over one, just the hoppers and the repeater. And you just want to get one more rail. I'm sorry, very sorry for this, guys. Um, yeah, but the problem is, if sometimes the what's it called minecart and hopper wouldn't go all the way to hit touch the block, so it would be right where the first uh, okay the first furnace is. It would be on that block block, and it would put most of the items in there. So you pretty much just want to move this bit one block over because then you have another block and because of that it will stop it from smelting badly and then you have your problem problem solved but guys if you're moving it one over do not place another row of furnaces because you just need two empty blocks right there then move it after you moved it over once you can just place another normal rail then you want to crouch place two hoppers into that. First one you don't need to crouch, but the second one you do. Place the lever back, place another rail, and then yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. So once you've done that, you're pretty much done, guys. That's all you had to do. Sorry for the trouble, or the whatever, if I annoyed you. Yeah, I, that even annoyed me a lot, because after I realized that I messed up a lot, and yeah, that was annoying, but sorry for the trouble, guys, that was wrong, but sorry for the mistake I made, see you in my next video, and yeah, hope you enjoyed, bye!